Hey guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Today we are going to be reviewing the Jamaica Beach RV Park. We've stayed here for a couple days now, so come along with us and check it out. Come on, let's go. I'm Jason. And I'm Lori. In 2023, we sold our home and started our new adventure in full-time RV living. We're super excited that you're here joining us for our journey. And while on our journey, we're going to share with you places we've been, adventures we've had, and tips and tricks we've learned along the way. So come along with us. We are... Living, Living Between, between mile, mile Markers. Jamaica Beach RV Park is in Jamaica Beach, Texas, which is on Galveston Island outside of Houston. It's a very large RV park and all other sites are pull through sites. We stayed there for three nights and were in Site 944, which was really nice because it was next to a large green space on the edge of the park. The RV park has three pools that are situated throughout the property. Pool number one is located next to the office and is the smallest pool in the park, but this also means that it's the quietest pool as well. Pool number two contains a tiki bar, and it's perfect for those who just want to wade in the pool or just sunbathe all day long. Pool number three is the only indoor pool, and it's heated. I can see that this would be a popular option in the wintertime, or maybe when it's raining. Really close to the indoor pool is the large lazy river, where you and the kids can relax and bottom in a tube all day long. And don't forget to reserve your cabana for the family for some shade throughout the day. Next door to the lazy river is the pavilion. This is where all public functions like potluck dinners, park raffles, birthday parties are held. Finally, we move on down to the spa or hot tub. This is a massive hot tub and it's indoors to keep you out of the elements. Also, we didn't want to forget to tell you that there are three laundry facilities on site, all with the same footprint for you to use while you're there. In the center of the park is a mini golf course with a great pirate theme to it. And of course, what park would be complete without a couple of pickleball courts? And for us pet owners, there are two dog runs on the property. The larger of the two is about the size of a football field. Finally, this park offered both access to the beach and the bay. In the morning, we would go for a walk on the beach, take in the sunrise, and watch the wildlife. Then in the evening, we would go out the bayside, down this winding path, to a bench swing where we would enjoy some beautiful sunsets. Now that you've seen a little bit of Jamaica Beach RV Park, we are on to our likes and our not so care fors. So my first one will be the convenience of the location. This is a like. Actually I loved it because it was a thousand steps to the beach and a thousand steps to the bay so we could watch the sunrise in the morning and the sunset at night. And the like that I have is really the size of the large dog run. I swear to god it was probably about the size of a football field so That's it was huge, huge. <laughs> all right so you go first with your dislike. all right so the first thing and really the only thing about the park that i mean didn't like so much is what i call opp and you're going to hear us talk about that quite a bit in the future and opp is other pets poop 
So uh, with a park that large or a dog run that large, we did find a lot of owners that didn't pick up their dog poop. And, and they even provided the bags. So, you know, you people who have dogs, please pick up after please. yourself. So that would be my dislike. My dislike was the park itself was a little run down. It needed a little sprucing up. Uh, it, frankly, it just needed a little bit of paint. Uh, some things picked up around the park. It would have made it a lot better. So that's yeah. kind of my dislike. There wasn't a whole lot. I mean, there were some washing machines that were broken and stuff like that. But I think that's general maintenance. But as far as like, it's just felt kind of drab and run down and for such a beautiful location i think it should be shiny <laughs> all right guys well please remember to like and subscribe below and uh, if you have a park that you think we should check out please leave that below as well we'll see you next time between mile markers